he was saying that you and Giselle are supposed to be doing a marathon, half marathon this oh year. Oh my God. He told me this and I said, <laughs> when I see him, I'm going to let him know. What's up with that? What's happening? You're doing a half marathon? And no, marathon. it's people putting words in my mouth, I think. Because yeah, I heard it. He's a pretty credible sword. I know he's credible, but he's the person nice that beard. Linked... I, I trust guys with beards. Yeah. So. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the person that told him that, okay. I don't know. It's Giselle. Okay. Um, because she always tries to get me to do running more stuff. running. Yeah, yeah. Because we just did the 5K uh, Run for the Cure on Sunday. Oh, sick. How was that? Yeah, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. I did that last year. Nice. Um, with the Student Union, but this year was with the college, so it was cool. good. Where is Where was that? Toronto? UTM. Mississauga? Oh, Mississauga. So there's different locations on the same oh, okay. day. So we did the UTM location, and it was a lot of fun. I love that path because it's just surrounded by nature. That's sweet. Um, I don't do a lot of those things. Yeah, where yeah. Close off roads and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It's super fun. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just mentioned after that that it'd be fun to do push myself a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I said 10k, not half marathon. Yeah, I heard I heard half marathon. I heard Scotia Bank marathon. <laughs> That's what he told me, and I was just like, all right, yeah, sounds we'll sick, see. man. We'll see. Yeah. Um, now I'm gonna have to do a lot more training for that. Yeah. It's it was tough. Yeah. I, my ankle, my left ankle, oh, yeah. injured up, but I you just, have to prepare for that. You can't prepare. just go can't into just that. Go yeah. 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 So no. that's mayhem. So you want to do a 10k? Yes, that's like the next year. Step. I'm just taking this year or next year. Next year, early next year, because yeah. nice. uh, th there's a bunch of race ones in the spring. So I'm gonna look into doing Good, man. 10k. Sweet. Be fun. So know. are you getting into running and stuff now? Yeah, this summer has been the most I've run Sick. ever. That's good. So it's been a Running's lot of fun. fun man. It is. It's. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't really into it that much. Yeah. Like I think I was maybe on the track team one year. Okay. Um, like high school, in elementary grade, school, junior high. Okay. Back in Alberta. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and you're, I forgot you're originally from Calgary. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that just yeah. hit me. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's been a while since I've moved, but yeah, still lose my roots. Yeah. But it's funny because I, I was on the track team, but for some reason people thought I looked fast. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I look fast. <laughs> And I remember one of the first races that we were. Was your hair like were you aerodynamic? Like yeah, what was going on? It was a little long, so maybe they okay. thought it was like yeah. something extra there. So but flowing in the wind. Flowing <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> but it was hilarious because the first track meet that we had with against other schools, yeah. everybody pushed me to the front. Okay. And they're like, "Okay, you go. You're gonna lead the way." And as soon as the the, the race started, everyone just went right past. Oh me. yeah. And I was not the fat. I shouldn't have been up there. <laughs> yeah. Lesson learned. It's good but stuff though. It's a struggle. But that's okay. sweet though. Like th that's good that you're getting into it. Like it's good. Um, yeah. Running's great. Like I used to run all the time back in the day. Like I was yeah. in track and cross country, all that stuff. And then I stopped for a while, and then I finally got back into it a couple of years ago. Nice. And I'm just like getting the legs going again. But yeah. it's fun. It's fun. When yeah, you start see. doing like races and stuff, like because it's like you need something to work towards. Yeah. If you're just running all the time, just jogging by yourself, it gets kind of boring. It gets boring and you kind of plateau a little yeah. bit. So you got to challenge yourself. Yeah. That's, I'm kind of getting there now. Yeah. Um, for me, like a goal was do 5k without stopping. That was like a goal. Yeah. yeah. For the longest time I was doing like 2.5, just going around circles. Yeah. Yeah. And not thinking that I could do it. That's good. I pushed man. myself. Yeah, and then I yeah. listened to David Goggins. Yeah. Yeah. And then I pushed myself even more and I did 10k nonstop. That's sick. Man. For the first time. Good. This summer. Which was awesome. Good. You know, how was your heart? Connect. Was it going? Your oh, heart yeah. was it going? But it's nice because, like, you just listen. Like, he's right. It's all a lot of it is just mental hold back. It's all mental. Yeah. Because your body can do it, yeah. but you're mentally saying, no, I don't think yeah. I can do it. Yeah. As long as you're progressing, like, slowly mm -hmm. and you're not overdoing it, you're not like, oh, like, I'm like super overweight and then I'm going to try to run a half a marathon. Yeah. That's, you don't do that. No, you, you don't do that. You got to progress. You, you need gotta... your body to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you have to do that. Like even when I was getting back into running, like I would increase my, um, basically I would increase my, uh, my duration okay. and then distance like every week. Yeah. So I don't overdo it. Mm. So they say like 10% each week, mm -hmm. but like, you know, the first week, you know, you do a kilometer, the next week, two kilometers, that sort of thing. Like yeah. you want to go slowly. Like yeah. you don't want to overdo it because I've found with a lot of people, they just go hard right out the gate yeah and, and they then get injured right away injured they get discouraged because they're not getting right away yeah yeah it's yeah. a lot of that that's the problem oh, so yeah. yeah so i think that's that's good mm -hmm. the way that you're doing it that's sweet um but yeah running's fun man it's yeah. good and i think then, i just gotta get the right shoes yeah that's oh yeah part of it yeah yeah do that yeah you don't want to get injured. any more ankle support <laughs> yeah 
Even um, if you have an ankle injury, get an ankle brace. Yeah, yeah, I gotta look into that. Yeah, because I twisted my ankle like a few years ago when I was rock climbing, mm-hmm. um, and I got an ankle brace, and then like a month later, like after wearing it, was good. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So okay. keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, David Goggins, man, like, um, he's a beast, man. He's so inspiring. Especially it's so inspiring, but I, it's, it's like, like what we were just talking about, I think you, you, you got to take away and implement it in your own way yeah. and, and progress to it. Because I, I think a lot of people, some of the negative comments that I've been reading about, they, they, they take it at face value. Like, you got to be David Goggins, but that's not, that's not the point. Yeah, that's yeah. not what he's saying. It's no, not what no. he's telling him. It's like, take it at your own pace. Don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah. Because people are like doing it like he does it. Yeah, and then yeah. they're overexerting, hurting yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. And then people are complaining. And it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I injure myself. It's like, yeah, you injure yourself. Yeah, you're going you're way to too hard. You're trying to do 100 miles. <laughs> you're yeah, trying to relax. be David Goggins yeah. right off the bat. And it's yeah. like, no, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And like, it's crazy because even after reading that book, like even when I run in races and stuff now, like I will, that to you. I will cuss myself out yeah. in my head, like mentally. I can't even say the stuff that I say oh, to myself yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it is like it's just like that push. It's yeah, just, it's like, an extra push. Yeah, it's just that mental battle, just like mm-hmm. man up, we're gonna do this right now, and it's just man, don't give up. It's awesome. It gets yeah. you hyped up. It gets me so hyped up, and I'm yeah. happy you can relate to that yeah. because it's just like one of those things. Like, if you never read that book, like you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. It's crazy. Um, what do you listen to when you're um running? Actually, that's a good or working out point. Um, I've had the same sort of typical playlist that I've I'm getting bored of right now. Okay, and it's a bit of a shame because like I love music and I love to yeah discover different music. But yeah, I just have a pretty simple playlist of songs that I've just been liking for the last year or year or so, and okay. it's just. I don't know. It's like kind of electronic, a little bit of hip hop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really need to readjust my, my library and playlist. I just Do you usually run outside? Or? Yeah, yeah, usually. But the thing is that this is my first time where I want to keep that up, but I, I just, like, how cold is too cold to run? Yeah. Is cool. there... Is there a barrier you gotta for wear you? Pants. You gotta wear pants. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, I looked sorry. at that because I see some people yeah. still out there and it's, it's crazy. Yeah. But the next few weeks i got some races when's but, the, like the but the yeah, last time you'll run outside for you uh, probably the end of the month yeah probably, yeah depends, depends. But probably i'm like the last race i'm gonna do is probably gonna be the end of the month okay because then it gets too cold and mm-hmm. the weather gets sketchy because like you don't know if it's gonna like oh is it gonna snow this day like yeah, you know what yeah, i mean yeah. like i'm not gonna do that i'm not that kind of guy so. yeah yeah that makes sense um but yeah like i'll, I'll run on the treadmill like a lot and i'll mm. same with cycling like i'll cycle yeah, that's how you make lot. up for it. You just do it. Yeah, yeah. Those. I'll just do it because, like, sometimes you don't know with the weather. You don't know, like, if I'm coming home, like, after this, I got to go for a bike ride. It's going to be too dark to go outside. Mm. So I'm going to ride inside. Oh, okay. So, and then that way you don't get hit by cars. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, you don't have other it's less risk, yeah. barriers. Yeah. So, but, like, even when I'm on, um, like, the treadmill inside, mm-hmm. like, I have, I use an app. It's called Zwift. Have you ever heard of it? Mm-mm. Z W I F T. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can buy like a tracker for your, for your foot, for your shoe. Um, it's like 50, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, you buy it. It keeps your, um, keeps track of like your, your speed. Oh, wow. So your steps per minute and your speed. Um, and then that syncs up with the app and the app is basically a game. It's a virtual world. Okay. So it's like, as if you're running outside. So I'll like put it on my phone, link it up to my Apple TV. Nice. And then, like, I'll just watch it on the thing so I can see all my stats. Wow. And, like, it hooks up with my heart rate monitor, have it on the screen. But, like, I'm in a virtual world. So if I want to do workouts, like, oh, I'll show it on the screen. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice. It's really sweet. Um, let me see if I can pull it up while I'm showing it, while I'm talking about this. But, um, yeah, for uh, running and just working out in general, I get kind of bored with music. <laughs> Unless I'm running on the treadmill, I'll play music. Yeah. I'll, like, shuffle Kanye West. And it's just, like kind of us for a while um but like especially for like running outside long distances or yeah. like even just in the gym i'll listen to an audiobook or a podcast i don't know if you've ever tried that i haven't yet but i literally ju- so i was good. just talking to somebody about that it's so good i haven't tried it yet oh to me it's a game changer i don't know if i'll lose focus like i feel like i'm just so focused on like my running yeah yeah but i uh, people will tell me that you know having that distraction of, of listening to a podcast actually just keeps your rhythm going yeah you know, and I, totally I, I got to try that. Yeah. Especially if you want to run longer distances, mm. sometimes you'll, 
well, like this is for me. Yeah. Like if I'm running a long distance and I'm listening to music, I can tell that like every song is going to be probably around three minutes. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the end of the song to determine how fast I'm going <laughs> without even looking at my watch. So, so I already like, know like yeah. if I'm hitting like four minutes or so in a song, I'm going to be first kilometer down. You know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. So I kind of have a gauge, and that's why I don't like to listen to music. It <laughs> makes sense. Because it's just like this thing in my head. Because now I'm you're keeping track of it. Based on, so the, based on the song. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah, I think I'm starting to do that too. Yeah, it's, and it's like not a good thing. So yeah, yeah this yeah. is like the virtual world. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's just a screenshot. But yeah, basically it's other people around the world that are using it. Um, the running app is free, so you can actually use the running app. You just got to get a pod. So if you ever, mm -hmm. you know, over the winter, if you're looking to still run, like, yeah could be beneficial like i honestly because treadmill running gets boring to be honest yeah and that's just from experience <laughs> of just being super bored yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.